you to watch your head. Second of all, anything on the band here? That said, Mr. Horn, Mr. Crawford, gentlemen, let's do this. Remember last summer, she has come here, the family has come here to Vegas to see this. We're underway for the world title fight, Crawford and Horn. And let it be noted, Robert Byrd, the third man inside the ropes, the veteran referee, so the referee to break fighters on the inside as he does be able to get work done on the inside. There you go, you see right there, right out the gate, Terrence is controlling distance. It's out just far enough, and he tried to counter just like there. Getting after it pretty early here. Check hooks because Horn lunges in just like that with his head. Oh, Horn comes in with a right hand that lands flush on Crawford. Bagging out. Like comes there back again. in and there's Crawford that does check that right hand hook from that southpaw position. His body has changed. He's far more muscular yeah. and cut up than the Jeff Horn that defeated Manny Pacquiao. Absolutely. Pretty good looking opening rounds here. And good exchange there as Crawford able to land. Horn had the big right hand. Crawford had a couple guys. good combinations, including the work to the belt. 2017 ESPN Fighter of the Year, also been honored by the boxer to carry the weight from lightweight up to welterweight and win a crown. That is what he's trying to do tonight. The American from Omaha, Bud Crawford, round number two. Right hand, trip the knight to a softball. Straight right hand, looping right hand. Change it, change the trajectory on it, go down to the body to very awkward. And very aggressive, very awkward as he switches. Let him go, let him go. But you see, to let your combinations or your counters go. He gets close to you. Left hand to the body from Crawford. Or a bigger guy like, like Horn. Undoubtedly a bigger guy. Naturally the bigger man. Not the better athlete, not the more skilled fighter, thus the left hand that landed moments ago with the reaction time of Crawford. It's a left hand that comes in from Horn, and then they Opportunities, he can't get greedy though. Horn will fire back at him. There's Horn trying to get to work on that. Trying to come with a left uppercut as Horn came forward. End of two in our world title fight from Bud Crawford. That was the signature punch of that second round. Absolutely, and no shots. We're listening to Glenn Rushton instilling yet more confidence in Jeff Horn, telling him how well he did. Rushton's an interesting character, part Tony Robbins, part Chuck no, no, Norris. No. Let him, go, a, let him go, let him go. He made a fortune in real estate. He's a karate teacher by trade. He's an unbelievable media <laughs> darling down in Australia. Book on Jeff Horn, major motion picture coming out. All that centering on the relationship of trainer to fighter. That time he came forward and Bud nailed him. Right hook. Charging in with a right hand and now they exchange in the middle of the ring. For the aggressor that time, doubling up the jab, trying to come with a straight left hand. Horn fires back. Good stuff here. Bully on the inside. There was another right hand from Horn that came in there. He's stronger. I am in my prime. There is Miss Deborah, Bud Crawford's mother. Outstanding feature story on ESPN.com, written by our Mark Kriegel this week, detailing Deborah and her son and all that Bud Crawford overcame to arrive to this mountaintop of straight punches. Horn willing to still come through the front door. Makes it fun, doesn't it? Straight in his horn again. Right, he only up, knows up, one up, way. Makes it flaw. Crawford couldn't take advantage, but a left hand hits the mark. And now a pop jab. And a good left hand and a combination from the American. Moving out at distance, close distance, close range. Excellent round from Bud Crawford. And you see the swelling already over the right eye. You got some blood over the right eye. With another look at it right here. Terrence following him out. Fundamentally making mistakes. Dropping his hands as he's pulling away. And Terrence is smart enough to follow him and land that one-two. They put a grease on that brow of the right eye. There is one stat you look at with Bud Crawford. It's his accuracy tonight. He has Crawford up no, three no, zip. No, 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 You know what the fight go on. Fighters, fighters weaken. And those are your opportunities when you land shots. That I mean, there's nothing that, that Horn is doing here that's going to slow down Bud Crawford later in the fight. It's not 
He's not working the body. No. And should be noted because we talked so much about that being the one way he could go about his business. Crawford yeah. was, was insistent when I spoke. I'm not nearly as a bit younger as Errol Spence. But, but he's already plotted out ways he's going to beat each of them. Hard and muscular. He also has reach mm -hmm. just beyond his measurable height. Another good lead left hand from the Nebraskan. And he looks confident right now. Be slow and steady. Tim Bradley and Mark Regal ringside. And now it is Bud Crawford and Vasily Lomachenko who vie for that title to be called the world champion if Crawford keeps up like this. Good start to round number five. Well, Crawford's sharp right now, just sharp shooting from the outside. He wants to stay right in front of him, blocking counter, blocking counter. Capitalize on all the mistakes Horn is doing. Horn is not even using his jab, guys, to get in. He's before round as, as Horn did against Pacquiao with Bud Crawford. Now you see why. Well, Bud Crawford don't want to be here. If he's there, he wants to be there. He shouldn't be on the ropes like that. Horn soul. He's pushing him around. Mm -hmm. You can see that redness above the right eye as he sends back Horn. Crawford's in control here in round five, giving the best of the Aussie. And now this thing's getting real ugly. Charitable efforts in Africa compared to the guy who gets in this ring. Yeah, he enjoys hurting him. <laughs> End of story. Simply said Mark Kriegel. And get after it. Everything changes, he reminds him, when something good happens. That's exactly what happened in the 10th round against Manny Pacquiao. Yes. Up and low. And then he attacks. Changing levels. All right, stop, stop. That's all. He's trying. I mean, he's giving his best, best foot forward. Rushton says you just got to land a few shots. It's, it's a lot easier said than done, even on the inside. Good uppercut that time from Bud Crawford. The left hand landed. <laughs> Halfway through the title Got fight. Bell, guys. Bell. And Crawford's in control. Chadwick Boseman is sitting ringside for this fight on ESPN+. Plus. They need that miracle. They need to find that magic that they found somehow late against Pacquiao. But this isn't Manny Pacquiao in the autumn of his career. This is a prime Bud Crawford. They need Terrence to make a mistake. And I don't think Jeff and Crawford. Lead left hand from Crawford. And you just don't see Jeff Horn with that desire to come downhill. Oh, left uppercut near. And to himself, what is holding this young man up? <laughs> By the way, there was so much made of the judging in the fight against Pacquiao for Jeff Horn. And I don't think it's going to come down to the judges, nor is it going to come down to the referee, who's the subject of so much debate. What would Robert do? What would Robert Bird do? I think that, that Crawford has actually nullified that. It's not that they're not allowed no, 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 to no. clinch and to hold. It's Isn't just that Crawford no. Cortez is our ESPN Plus unofficial judge, and he sees a clean sweep for Crawford. Long now orthodox is Bud Crawford. There is the left hook, and this is where he can be most dangerous, Mark. When up, Crawford up, goes to the left hook is deadly. There it is as it backs up Jeff Horn. And now back to Southpaw for Omaha's best. Has a right hand right there that snuck in. Lay on his, see him lay on that left side. Punching between punches and a flush left hand. And here comes Bud on the attack. Half minutes to go in round eight. Can he finish him? Strafing shots to the head. Horn is hurt. Body shot lands mm. with the right hand as well. Balances the Aussie. Left hand came just short. Jeff Horn, with a will round, he see, soon be a three-division champion? With a round like that in evidence, if you're Glenn Rushton, 
and you love your fighter, how long do you let this thing go on? He's a tough guy, is Horn. He's the champion. You let it go on. He got caught with a left hand, thrown off balance again. Remember, round number nine, that was the round when Pacquiao nearly got rid of him as well. But Horn fought back, dominated the finish of that fight. Only takes one punch. He has been thoroughly dominated. He has been hurt. He has been outclassed. But all it takes is one go of it. Yeah, and he's still coming forward. Yeah, Crawford knows he's weakening. He's stepping to him. I don't think we're there yet. I, I mean, I get but you, but it's I, a consideration. I, I disagree because he's still in there fighting. He's still in there trying. Terrence is sharpshooting right now. Big left hand, right hook, uppercut sends him back. Seconds to go here in round number nine. Let's see what Crawford does with it. Here he comes. Backs him up with a left hand again. Horns in the corner. 